The scientists here at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore analyzed more than a thousand patients who'd shown symptoms of cancer to see whether this new test would accurately confirm the diagnosis. And they were excited to discover that for certain tumors, the cancer-seek test was up to 98% accurate. And the same test was effective for eight different types of cancer, including five for which no early screening currently exists. Here's how it works. As the tumor forms and grows, the cancerous cells within it change, reproduce and die. Sometimes tumors shed cells that can get into the bloodstream. And when cancer cells die, they can also release DNA and other fragments that also get into the blood. Cancer Seek is described as a liquid biopsy and analyzes a patient's blood sample for traces of that cancer DNA. And identifying which genes and mutations are most active can identify the type of cancer and the best treatment. The importance of early diagnosis of cancer can't be understated. For example, in the case of bowel cancer, ovarian cancer and breast cancer, 90% of those diagnosed early will continue to live for more than five years. But the survival rate, if it's caught at an advanced stage, is much lower. In the case of ovarian cancer, it's just 5%. In the UK, cancer specialists are giving a cautious welcome to the findings. This is a very exciting first step along the way to such a blood test. They've shown that you can pick up tiny traces of the cancer in the blood test that potentially has the ability to pick up cancers early on and identify patients for surgery. But it is a first step. Another specialist, though, wants to see the test accuracy improved. Stage one, where we want to diagnose these cancers, the sensitivity is quite low. It's just about 40%. So that is something uh, that might hold this test back uh, when we try to think about implementing it. The Baltimore study worked with patients who had already shown symptoms of cancer. The true breakthrough will happen if this test can identify cancer before the symptoms emerge. That could really make a massive impact on survival rates. This test is one step closer to that. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, London.